Welcome to the 2022 Bell Advanced Vertical Robotics Competition. This year's game is the Emergency Firefighting Challenge, where it's you versus the fire. Bell Valley is burning! A forest fire has started on both sides of the field, and it's up to the Bell Valley Fire Department to clear as many burn sites as possible. The playing field is divided into two communities, each with seven burn sites connected to each other via fire spread paths. Each seven student drive team operating the Bell AVR drone and its support crew will have just five minutes to fight this quickly spreading fire before Bell Valley goes up in flames. In phase one, the fire has already begun to spread into one of the communities. The fire's intensity, or fire score, is represented by windows lighting up on each burn site. Each phase will also begin with a hot spot on one of the buildings heating up, signaling that a fire will start soon. The AVR drone will need to use thermal sensors to detect and clear this hotspot in time, or else its building will erupt into a maximum fire score. There are three ways that the AVR drone can put out fires. By shooting a water cannon at active building targets, using a gimbal-mounted laser pointer, by dropping water directly through active rooftops, using 25 millimeter balls, or by clearing away burning trees, using downwash from the drone's rotors. While the AVR drone is occupied in the burning community, the support crew will be headed towards the dormant side of the valley for some fire prevention tasks that will help fight the fire when phase two is reached. Sphero minis, acting as firefighters, can be delivered to the dormant side's forest where they will be able to clear trees and fight the fire directly. The Tello drone's mission is to fly autonomous recon paths, discover which fire spread paths can be blocked, and land on top of a high-rise building to communicate this back to the team. The rover vehicle can use this information to clear away burning debris, dig a trench, and block the fire spread path. And finally, the water tower can dispense water into the reservoir to help refill the AVR drone. Phase two begins once the initial burn has been fully extinguished by the AVR drone. This time, the second community's fire score can be reduced or blocked before the AVR drone even arrives, thanks to the actions of the support crew during phase one. If the drone can fully clear both communities, then the final phase will be triggered. It's time for the end game, as the drone competes with randomly spreading fires until time runs out. The score at the end of the match is based on a team's ability to fight fires efficiently and effectively. The fire clear score represents a team's progress against the quickly spreading fire score. A fully cleared phase has a perfect fire clear score of 50 points. The damage prevention score represents how quickly the team has been able to react to the fire's progress. Before being touched by fire, a building has a perfect damage prevention score of 8, but once those points are lost to the fire, they cannot be won back. Teams can also receive points for completing support crew actions and bonuses for using autonomous programming. Be sure to read the game manual for all the details. Good luck, and we'll see you at Bell Valley.